This video is going to show examples of how to do average speed, distance, and time problems. These problems have three variables, so if you're giving two of the variables, you should be able to figure out the third. Uh, these are very similar to the force, mass, and acceleration problems that we've done. Okay, so um, I just want to also show you, see, our average speed is equal to distance over time. And we can use our handy dandy triangle here to help us figure out which equation to use um, depending on what the question is asking for. So for example, remember that when variables are next to each other, that means you multiply them together and that when they're on top of each other, that means that you divide. So for example, our formula for average speed is equal to the distance divided by the time. And if you use our triangle, you cover up what you're looking for. In this case, if we were looking for average speed, we cover up the S and we can see that that indeed equals distance divided by time. If we were looking for the distance, we'd cover up the D and we can see that the distance would be equal to the speed multiplied by the time. <coughs> Excuse me. Or if we're looking for the time, we could see that time would be equal to distance divided by the speed that we're going. So let's look at a couple examples here. Uh, remember, in each one of these, first of all, you want to determine what exactly it is you're looking for. Then you want to write the equation and then fill in the numbers. Okay, so it says here a car is traveling at 200 miles in four hours. Calculate its average speed. Okay, so here we already have our formula, average speed equals distance divided by time. So in this case, we are going to have our average speed is going to be equal to our distance, which is 200 miles. And remember, don't forget to put your units so that you can make sure your answer is in the correct units. And that's going to happen over the course of four hours. Okay. And so now the problem is set up correctly. All right. You just, and then if you're having trouble with your math or your multiplication or your division, okay, you can review my math videos to help get you familiarized. For here, I'm just going to go ahead and do the math quickly. Um, but if you're looking at this, uh, you should be, you could, might be able to eyeball this easily because you know that 4 will go into 125 times because 25 times 4 is 100. Okay, so that means 4 must go into 250 times. So 200 divided by 4 would be 50. And we can't forget our units. Okay, so our average speed would be miles divided by hour. So our average speed would be 50 miles per hour. Okay, using our units correctly. All right, let's do another example. The second one is it says a man runs 100 meters in 12.5 seconds. Calculate his average speed. Again, we're looking for average speed so we can use the same formula. The average speed is going to be equal to the distance, which is 100 meters divided by the time, which is 12.5 seconds. Again, you can pause the video and do the math on your own if you like, but if you're paying attention here, you might be able to recognize that 12.5 is half of 25. And we know that 25 will go into 100 four times, so that means that 12.5 must go into 100 eight times. Okay, and so our answer would be eight and then we can't forget our units, it will be meters per second. So a man that runs 100 meters in 12.5 seconds is running an average speed of 8 meters for every second. Okay, <laughs> let's do one more example. Okay. <laughs> it says here that a tennis ball travels 40 meters per second and wants to know how far it will travel in 10 seconds. Okay. So how far? So actually it's looking for distance because it's asking how far. We see that our formula for distance is going to be, we cover up the D, and distance is going to be equal to speed multiplied by the time. So let's write that formula. Distance equals speed multiplied by the time. And so then we fill in, okay, our speed, our, um, our speed was 40 meters per second, 40 meters per second. Multiply it times the time it took him, or it, 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 it was 10 seconds. Okay, so we got 40 times 10. Okay, in this case, uh, our 
seconds are going to cancel out because seconds are kind of like underneath here. And our answer is going to be left in meters, which makes sense because we're looking for distance. And 40 times 10 is 400. All right. So I think you get the hang of it. A little bit of practice. You'll be getting it in no time, and the better you'll get at it. All right. Happy studying.